veteran sets up exit when calls the herd. Lucas might be the next townie to leave Hope Valley this time, which begs the question, is Chris McNally quitting when calls the herd as Lucas? Hope Valley is home to an endless stream of people. The signs are plain to see. The people of Hope Valley, formerly called Coal Valley, a small hamlet in western Canada where life is straightforward but nevertheless rife with difficulties, are the subjects of Hallmark's drama series When Calls the Heart. Elizabeth Thatcher is a young teacher used to high society who moves to a Hope Valley after receiving her first teaching assignment there in the series which debuted as a Hallmark original movie in October 2013. And it was based on Janet Oak's book of the same name. The character Lucas Bochard, played by McNally, is a businessman who runs a Gowan Petroleum and the Queen of Herds Saloon in Hope Valley. He first appeared in season 6 after Elizabeth's separation from Nathan Grant, a Monty with whom she has a romantic plotline following the death of her late husband, Jack Thrompton, in season 5. Lucas and Elizabeth begin dating in season 8 and become engaged in season 9. Run Calls the Herd season 10 ended, setting up a love triangle between Elizabeth, Lucas and Nathan and the possibility of Lucas leaving Hope Valley and, consequently, Van Calls the Herd. Everything appeared to be going well for Elizabeth and Lucas. What will happen to Lucas if Chris McNally leaves Van Calls the Herd? By reading on, find out if Chris McNally will be leaving Van Calls the Herd after season 10. Chris McNally quitting Van the Herd Calls? It may be a yes. Although McNally, who has played Lucas Bochard on When Calls the Herd since season 6, hasn't officially announced his departure, there are hints that season 10 might be his last. In season 10, episode 11, long time running, Lucas tells Elizabeth Thornton Thatcher that he intends to run for governor after the incumbent's opponent withdraws at the last minute, leaving the corrupt politician Bixi Balfour unopposed. Additionally, Lucas' speech in season 10, episode 10 of All Dressed Up, in which he argued that Hope Valley deserved a governor superior to Balfour, contributed to his decision to run for governor. During his first radio interview, which was shown in episode 11, Lucas reveals that if he wins the election, he intends to move from Hope Valley to Capital City with Elizabeth and her son Jack Thornton Jr. Elizabeth and her late husband Jack Thornton, who passed away in season 5, shared Little Jack. Elizabeth is taken aback by Lucas' news because he has never decided to move to Capital City and wasn't fully aware of the implications of Lucas' victory for her life in Hope Valley. When speaking on the radio for the first time, Lucas says that if he wins election, he will move from Hope Valley to Capital City with Elizabeth and his son Jack Thornton Jr. Elizabeth and Jack Thornton, who passed away in Season 5, shared a son named Little Jack. Elizabeth, who has never decided to move to the capital city, was unaware of the implications of Lucas' victory for her life in Hope Valley, is taken aback by his statement. Elizabeth and Lucas discuss his announcement and Elizabeth decides to back his campaign and move from Hope Valley to capital city when the time is right. When Nathan Grant, Elizabeth's ex, discovers that she could leave Hope Valley, he confronts her about it and it appears that he still has affections for her. Elizabeth replies to Nathan that what I want is for him to win when he asks what he wants. Well, I hope it makes you happy, says Nathan. Chris McNally is reportedly quitting when calls the hurt. There are indications. The concept of McNally relocating to Capital City and when leaving when calls the hurt was introduced in Season 10, Episode 11, which appeared to be setting up for McNally's departure.